Good morning. Today is the 16th Sunday of church time. Last week, I mentioned that during Jesus' time, some people thought Jesus was really a bad Jew, he was a false prophet, um, he hung around with drinkers and prostitutes. And then I said, farmers sort of thought he was a little colloquial too. But also during Jesus' time, certainly some people thought that Jesus was very naive, naive, meaning, oh, Jesus would talk about love and forgiveness, and Jesus really did not understand the world. Jesus was not naive. Jesus was not clueless about the situation of his time. Certainly Jesus saw Roman soldiers who would take advantage of people, who would hurt people. Jesus saw very wealthy landowners who oppressed poor farmers. Jesus saw the chief priests in Jerusalem uh, use their position to gain power and money. Jesus understood clearly that in the world there were people who did good and people who did evil. And so Jesus tells his followers this parable that we see in the gospel today. He talks about a man who plants good seed, but then during the night in the darkness, his enemy comes and plants weeds, destructive plants. And Jesus says, this is the world. The world is a place where both good and evil, people who do the right thing and people who love to do the wrong things, live together and work together and hang around with each other. And so Jesus says, well, what do you do? And Jesus explains in the gospel that the people who do what's right have to be willing to live and accept that sometimes, even though they try their best, the people who do bad will win. But Jesus says, on the last day, at the end of the world, God's justice will rule. In chapter 13 of St. Matthew that we're reading these Sundays, Jesus talks about God's judgment. And Jesus is very clear. Jesus says, at the end of time, God will separate the groups. And these who are good will receive God's reward. And these who are bad will receive punishment. Again, in St. Matthew, in chapter 25, it's the same vision of Jesus about the end of the world. And so Jesus says God will show his justice. Now, when I use the word justice, I want us to understand what Jesus meant by justice. And how we understand that we find in the first reading today, where the writer talks about God's justice is filled with kindness. I think too often when people think about justice and they say, well, I want justice, I want what's right, often what people are saying is, I want to get even. I want to hurt that person who hurt me. I want to punish that person who made me suffer. God's justice, it's not. God's justice is a justice that looks at all of us with mercy 
and with kindness. And so I, I really would encourage us all when we have those feelings of, I want justice, I want what's right, to ask ourselves, what do we really mean? Are we really seeking that justice which shows kindness and mercy to others? Or are we only looking for hurting people? That first reading today, I would, I would I really encourage you to take your time with that reading and see this encouragement to live with a justice that is truly kind and merciful.